This is a budget Windows laptop running Chrome OS. Yeah, you might have heard about Google bringing Chrome OS to Windows laptops and MacBooks with its Chrome OS Flex. And this is it right here. Now I can tell you this, that this is a game changer, a lifeline for your old Windows laptops, your Pentium, Celeron laptops, you get it. This laptop here has these specs. Celeron dual core CPU, UHD 500 graphics, HDD 4GB RAM, and the Windows 11 experience on this is absolutely horrible. This is actually a brand new laptop that came with Windows 11 out of the box. And it's funny because we started seeing issues with the very first startup. Here's a video I recorded from my phone. There's no apps running and I hit refresh and just check out the CPU usage. It went to 100%. Now here's another video and you can see how erratic the CPU graph is. And that's when the system is idle. In fact, here I am opening and closing the start menu just for fun and see how the CPU usage just rockets up to 100%. Yeah, it's crazy. Not just this, Chrome crashes with just two tabs open. Edge does not crash, but it's super laggy. Booting from shutdown takes three freaking minutes. See, we bought this laptop for 28K because we wanted to try out Chrome OS Flex on a budget Windows laptop. And after seeing Windows 11's performance on it, Chrome OS Flex just makes perfect sense for this laptop. Now, let's face it, we all have these old Windows laptops with a similar experience and we just wanna throw them out. And this is where Chrome OS Flex comes in. See, before I get to the Chrome OS Flex installation, let me tell you, Chrome OS on this laptop is a far, far, far better experience than Windows 11. See, I'm someone who has personally used a lot of Chromebooks in the past. I mean, back in the B-bomb days, I used to write a lot of articles on Chrome OS. Yeah, I did that too. But I can tell you this, that the Chrome OS performance on the Celeron machine is actually better than a lot of budget Chromebooks, and it's on a whole different level. First of all, from almost a three minute boot time with Windows 11, Chrome OS Flex boots up in flat 30 seconds. Now that's a huge difference. I ran a focus 60 FPS video and also ran an 8K video and a phase minus stutters, but it's still better compared to not even being able to run Chrome on Windows 11. Next up, I have these 10 tabs open up in Chrome and you'll notice that there's absolutely no stutter. I can move between these tabs easily, put Chrome into split screen, start the built-in screen recorder and it's all not a problem. The performance is just really impressive coming from Windows. Now what's even more impressive is how the subscribe button turns from red to gray. Try it out if you're enjoying the video so far. The battery life seems to be better too on Windows. When the battery was full on the laptop, it was showing me around five hours of runtime. On Chrome OS Flex, it's a lot better. On Chrome OS Flex, I'm at 84% battery and it's showing more than seven hours remaining. Again, huge difference. Now I'm not sure of this number, but after using the laptop for around one hour, it only lost 15% battery. So yeah, the battery performance seems promising with Chrome OS Flex. Now Chrome OS, as you all know, is all about the web apps. Chrome OS Flex here is based on Chrome OS 100 and it has these usual Chrome OS apps, Google web apps pre-installed. Now there's Chrome, the the Chrome web store, so you can install all the web apps you want. You also get this system app that shows you your device specs and there's the Play Store icon, but it's not working right now. It just takes you to the Play Store on the web. Yeah, you cannot run Android apps right now and Google hasn't confirmed it yet, but I'm really hoping that we get Android app support in Chrome OS Flex because that'll make these budget Windows laptops even more useful. As for all the basic hardware features of the laptop, be the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, speakers, camera, the ports, everything is working perfectly with Chrome OS Flex. The keyboard and trackpad are working fine too. I can use Chrome OS keyboard shortcuts on it and the touchpad supports Chrome OS gestures. So basically everything is working and if you've used Chrome OS, you'd know that the Chrome OS plus Android integration is very good and you get that experience with Chrome OS Flex. You can share files between the phone and PC with nearby sharing. You get your phone notifications in the laptop and you get these different phone controls and the overall status of the phone here in the Chrome OS notification center. So the integration is actually very good. Plus you get all the other Chrome OS features like Google Assistant. And I also like that Chrome OS Flex here has full fledged Linux support, which is really good because you'll be able to run Linux apps and do a lot more. To conclude things, Chrome OS Flex is a very good step by Google. It's actually giving fresh life to your old laptop. I mean, we all have those old Windows laptops which are super laggy, stuttering all the time, barely holding on to life. And with Flex, they can actually become smooth and nice, which is awesome. I mean, students can use it for media purposes and to attend classes. Professionals can use it for meetings. Parents can use it to browse the web. See, a lot of people just dump their old laptops and it becomes unusable, resulting in e-waste. With the chip shortage, laptop prices are increasing day by day and not everyone can afford to buy a brand new laptop. Chrome OS Flex is solving all these issues. 
Let me know in the comments if you have an old laptop and you're planning to install this on it. Also, share this video with your friends and family who have a laptop that desperately needs Chrome OS Flex. Also, if you're wondering, Chrome OS Flex is available for free and it works with most laptops out there which meet the minimum system requirements. I've added the link to our guide in the description down below, so make sure to check it out if you want to try it out. Lastly, make sure to hit the like on this video, share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. If you long press the share button on Instagram, you can quickly send the post to your frequent contacts. Just like that.